This is another great plugin to edit many Obsidian nodes at once. It's called Global Search and Replace for Obsidian, as the name implies. You can search for something and change the value of the result. So you can search for things. It, there is case sensitive uh, search. There are a bunch of controls that you can use when you find what you're looking for. And there is even regex support, which is a little bit more advanced. I know what it is, but I don't know how to use it. The good news is that I asked uh, Gemini and it uh, gave me the prompts that I should use. So we may try this one today, but let's do the basic because the basic is already very good. So there is no setting. If we go to the plugins, as you can see, there is no setting. And to use it, you have to go to a search window that you can access from the common panel here. Uh, just start typing. It's already here, but just go like this, global search and replace. Now click here and you will add a search term and then uh, what you want it to be replaced with. Let's go to this vault here again. So I'm going to replace uh, this four posts here with a different value. And the cool thing about this plugin is that it works even on properties. So here's a good example of my recent project of migrating my uh, markdown notes from Obsidian Publish to micro.blog. Uh, on Obsidian Publish, uh, the address is only everything after the domain name. But on micro.blog, as far as I could understand, uh, you need the full address, at least for the uh, uh, markdown importer feature to work. So the solution I came up with was to search for this and replace this with the URL. So let me show you. Let's go back to the global search and replace. Let's search for URL, column, space, and here we have it. Now, I'm going to replace this with URL, column, and then the, the address. I'm ending with the forward slash because it's also here. And it's here because there are other URL uh, words in my vault. So I needed to create a, a, a specific uh, combination of characters that would find exactly what I wanted. So here are the results that match the search. And what I like here is that you can see what is the note. But if you click here or hit enter, it will replace it. So I'm going to do it. Post number four, I'm going to click it. And now if we go to post number four, here it is. It was replaced. So let's do that search again, because I want to show you the other comments. See, there are many other URLs here. So that's why I have to create this specific combination here. From here, you can move up and down with your uh, mouse or you can use the RO keys. But let's say this number two here, you are not so sure and you want to take a look at it before converting it. So you can hold common on Mac or control on Windows and hit enter and it will jump to that note. So you can take a look and make sure, okay, this is this may, this is part of what I want to uh, uh, change. So let's do it again. So from here now, I can uh, just hit here, click here with the mouse or hit enter. And they are all now with the address. Okay. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there is no settings. But if we go to the search box, uh, there are two icons here. This one is for case sensitive search. And this is that advanced search. Let's start with this one here. So let's look for my name. So as you can see, it found many results. And this one here is all small caps. Even if I change this here, it's going to show the same results. But I can now tell it clicking here that I want this a precise match. So let's click here and there it is. And we can do the same. Let's see. Let's take a look at that advanced search, that regex thing. 
Let's say you have here something like this, I don't know, a code like this, and inside one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten characters that are different depending on the note they are in. And let's say you have this here, and you want to replace this with something like this. Okay? That's how you use that uh, more advanced search. So I don't know how to do this, but I can easily ask Gemini to explain to me how to do it. So this is what I asked Gemini to look for this, replace with this, keeping in mind that this part here is a different part that should be untouched. So it's telling me to look to add this code and replace with this. But if you pay attention, this is not entirely correct. I even checked my question here and I did put the equal sign here and it's not here. So we need to add that there. Yeah, you should never trust AI with your life. So we have to put this here. And now if I click here, enable regex, there it is, it found it and we need it to be replaced with this guy here. So let's put this here, and let's click here. And there it is, it replaced. Now, let's undo this, and, and I'm going to show you that this is wrong. So let's grab this. You can see that it's not right, you can see it here. So when you do this, try to test it before in one post, especially if you're asking AI to do something for you. So if we grab this here now and put it here, oh, we have to click here and replace. You can even see it here. It's just replacing this part here. So let's click it. See, that was wrong. <laughs> Never trust AI with your life. <laughs> For more how-to videos like this one, you can check this playlist, and if this one was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. But if you want to help even more, please consider joining my Patreon, where you can watch this and other videos ad-free and have access to even more content, or you can buy me a coffee. All the links in the description below. Thank you so much for your time. See you soon.